Hi, I'm Anne Wawadu. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for February the 10th, 2020. Boko Haram insurgents have killed 10 stranded passengers on Sunday night at Aono, the village near Maduguri in Borono State. That's according to the theatre commander, Operation Lafia Dole, Major General Olusegun Adeniye. However, conflicting reports from eyewitnesses suggest that at least 20 people died in the attack and no fewer than 18 cars, including heavy-duty trucks, were set ablaze during the attack. An unspecified number of people, mostly women, are also believed to have been abducted. Staying with security matters, the governors of the Southeast met on Sunday over the security challenges and other issues in the region. At the end of the meeting, which held at the government house in Enugu State, the governors resolved to launch a regional security outfit. To graft issues, the Federal High Court, sitting in Abuja, has granted former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Mohamed Adoke bail on the sum of 50 million naira, with one surety like sum. Mr. Adoke, along with his co-defendants Aliyu Abubakar, were arraigned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission before Justice Binta Nyako on six fresh charges bordering on money laundering and criminal diversion of funds in the Malibu oil deal. On the international scene, the U.S. European Solar Orbiter probe launched Sunday night from Florida to deepen our understanding of the sun and how it shapes the space weather that impacts technology back on Earth. The mission, the collaboration between the European Space Agency and NASA, successfully blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center and could last up to nine years or more. And in sports, Scott McTominay says that Manchester United are fully focused on ending the troubled season on a high note, with silverware still on offer in the FA Cup and Europa League as he nears a return from injury. United have found it hard to establish any momentum in the challenging campaign that has threatened the spiral into the Soraya Times. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.